I'm Chris Foster, I'm from Camelos, BC. I'm a free ride motocross rider. I think what's gotten me here is just all I want to do is ride bikes. Like it's the main focus in my life. I've always just loved being on two wheels and flying through the air. Christopher was uh, not even three years old when he got his training wheels off, so we knew something was about to happen. You couldn't keep him on the road. He'd be in the ditches, jumping everything he could find just to kind of get in the air. Logs, ditches, rocks, whatever. And then when I was three years old, we got a dirt bike that me and my sister used to share. It was pink. <laughs> he wasn't too impressed with that. I was a cross-country rider, so I'd take him up in the bush, and he hated it. Later on, we got him to a motocross track, and as soon as he could fly through the air, he was hooked. Then Real Moto came about. That's been my main focus. Got a silver in 2016. Came back the next year and made sure that we got all the unique shots that we needed and made sure that it happened. Now we're uh, defending our title and, again, just trying to cover all our bases and make sure that we get everything really on point because I really want to defend my title and stay on top. Obviously we knew we had to defend and defending is a gold medal is really hard. I told Chris like, you know, we got to defend it, but more than anything, let's try to make something we're both 100% proud of. And that's our goal really. I find myself critiquing myself a lot because of the guys in the competition, making sure like that my jumps are going to be as big and comparable to theirs and certain tricks that I do, I want to make sure that they're up to standards with the other guys, right? Because that's, that's the name of the game. You're basically competing on every level with them. It's got to be a lot of just solid shots. You can't be messing around. There can't be like too many filler shots. It's got to be like just quality, big moves constantly or very technical stuff, you know? I think with Chris, what really sets him apart is the fact that he really, truly loves being on his motorcycle um, and he really loves jumping his motorcycle so it's fun for him so it comes easy. Tony's just on point like he knows what he wants when he gets his shots and it doesn't take long for him to just really hone in and, and get it perfect you know the first time. When we're doing big moves and they're you know one and done's you, you want to have a guy like Tony with your master shot you know. He's running at it now. This year, uh, we were fortunate enough to get the opportunity to work out at Sugarloaf Ranch here in Kamloops. And Sugarloaf is pretty cool because it has a lot of history. Uh, the Terra Firma crew was out here shooting back in the day, and uh, the Krusty Demons uh, crew were out here as well. You know, he's got a lot of fans. He's got a lot of people rooting for him. And he's got a huge circle of friends that just want to try to help him win, you know? So we have a lot of guys come out here and dig after work for free. You know, they come out, they want to hang, and they want to just support Chris. And it's a cool thing. You know, for a guy like him, this is, uh, this is the event. Um, it's an opportunity for him to, you know, possibly win another gold medal. It's really important. Real Moto is as important as it gets for my life, you know. I want to make my dreams come true with having my own compound and having my own spot, you know. And this is the way that I see doing it. I need to win. I'm Chris Foster and this is my Real Moto part.
Chris Foster, are you kidding me? That was huge and an incredible job filming that, Anthony Vitale. In my opinion, that was an improvement from last year, but is it enough? You can tell the effort was there. You know, they built some cool features out in the hills. It's got that free ride feel to it. He's blowing up corners as he's charging a jump, flipping, tricking, and then for the video quality, to come along with it, like parallel it, might be a deciding factor towards the end that puts it over the top because it is a team effort at the end of the day. My first impression of Foster's video was like, this dude went big this year and he's gnarly. And it's hard for me to, to judge Foster because nothing really showcased how technical of a rider he is. And that's one thing I look at from Foster is the dude's bad. I mean, he won the gold last year. So this year he needed that, kind of that one standout clip or that one standout jump just to, just to be like, hey guys, look, you know, last year was last year. I'm pushing myself this year even more. And that's the only thing he really lacked, but overall, really good part. You know, everything was put together really well. All right, judges, the time has come for you guys to cast your vote. Who is going to be the winner of Real Moto 2018? All right, Jack, I've made my decision. Send it over right now. Done. It's out of my hands now. Good luck, guys. In second place, last year's defending gold medal, Chris Foster and Anthony Vitale. Congratulations to you guys.